what would you... So the, the earliest thing that was, like, basically rendering something, like when you would consider it doing at least that basic of rendering a single frame, was that the... Was that, like, the triangle? Was there something a little bit earlier than that? Uh, that was the triangle in Python, yeah. <laughs> so that was the triangle that was... Uh, it wasn't running a real app. It was a frame, as in the, the you know, the geometry and the commands dumped from the triangle running on macOS mm -hmm. uh, as the macOS Mesa driver would send to the macOS kernel driver, taking that data and putting it in Python and doing what the kernel driver would do in a Python script and getting the GPU to render a triangle. That was the very first thing that worked. Mm -hmm. That was what? It, so last time we recorded, it was five months ago and you were a bit further ahead at that point. So somewhere between five to six months ago, you would say you was sort of in that state? Yeah, something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. That was, I think it was five to six months ago, yeah. Because, yeah, when you were last... Because I, I know you, we def you definitely had a Nochi 2D work... Like, okay. I wouldn't say working well, but functioning to <laughs> some <right>. extent. <laughs> because you had the... I think one of the thumbnails I used the um, the glitchy render that you worked right, out right. of force. Um, but things have come along a long way since then. I've got a, I think a video coming out tomorrow doing sort of an update on where things are at right now but where where are you at right now because if someone hasn't heard uh considering like the jump that there's been i think they might be a little bit impressed where it's at now um so we have a real driver now um and it's not like you know a full driver that can run the latest Falcon OpenGL, everything, you know, fancy pants. But it's a real driver that can run OpenGL ES2 and ES3. Um, and Mesa has also uh, improved to pretty much that point. Um, so, like, ES3 is not 100% yet, but it's getting there. And basically, we can run desktops, we can run uh, games, we can be playing Zonotic and Quake and uh, Super Dux Card. Um, on like accelerated Wayland or um, XORG desktops with KDE and GNOME. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it all works. I think Elisa was working on getting Firefox web render um, to go smoothly. I think, it, I think it's already there with OpenGL ES3. So so yeah, it's, it's getting to the point where, you know, this is something you want to use as a desktop um, driver for a GPU acceleration. Is there a release out of RC Linux that has this ready or is that still sort of in the works? Um, so we want to release before the end of the year uh, because we think it's pretty much there. Um, so right now we're kind of just tying up loose ends and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it'll be out soon. I honestly think it's like, it, it's really impressive how far along this has come along. Like, as I've said multiple times, I have no idea what's going on with reverse engineering a GPU driver. Right, like, writing a GPU driver with documentation, I wouldn't have any idea what I'm doing. As so, I, I'm sure many other people are sort of in this state as well. Seeing how far it's come along, going from, you know, you have the hardware here, the hardware has no documentation, to getting where you're at now. I think anyone who's seen that has to be at least a little bit impressed. I don't know what sort of feedback you've had about it. Um, like, yeah, what what is the, the feedback you've sort of received about where everything's at right now? Um, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people um, are saying that it works. Uh, like, I, just the other day, I got someone saying that it works better than macOS for one game, <laughs> which is pretty hilarious. Um, to be clear, that's not the case for most uh, workloads right now mm -mm. for a bunch of reasons. Um, like, there's there's some stuff that is, like, 10 times slower than on macOS. Yeah, we still yeah. don't know why. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're, there's a lot of low-hanging fruit for performance to be figured out. So, right yeah, now, benchmarks yeah. don't really mean anything other than it's getting better. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, I mean, like if you just run a desktop, it's, it's just smooth, you know, it's, it's, it feels like Mac OS mm -hmm. and it's really, really cool. We have seen um, the, the, yeah. um, the GeoMark 2 benchmark you posted where I think it, it puts it in line with like an RX 550, something like that, which I, I'm sure you can get more out of that, like out of that chip, but just the fact that it's where it's at now, I think is just really cool. Yeah. Uh, like it's. It's, it's kind of funny because like I always get people talking about benchmarks and like, is it faster on macOS? How much is it on macOS? I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, like yeah. That, that stuff doesn't really matter right now. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But what matters is that like we're improving all of these things about the, the whole stack, right? Yeah. Um, so the the fact is like right now it's at a point where um, it completely changes the desktop experience um, versus not having a driver because not having a driver, it's actually surprisingly smooth with the CPU, but 
you know, as, as soon as you do something like use a full screen window on one of the machines with the higher resolution screens, it's really obvious yeah. that it's dropping frames. And then with the GPU, it's just like, no, we can do 4K at 60. It just works. It's just smooth. And that makes a huge difference. And also tear-free video and all that. 